who you are, what organization you're with, and what you feel about the healthcare system currently in America. Yeah, I'd be happy to. I'm Dr. Mary O'Brien from Physicians for National Health Program, and we're very upset about the healthcare system. We feel that if you have a publicly funded single payer healthcare system, which means get rid of the private insurance companies and have a system like Medicare for all, okay. we can cover everyone in the United States for what we're paying now. All right. And does that include everyone who's employed and unemployed and people who are illegal citizens and visiting citizens? And yes, it includes everyone who's residing in the United States. Whether oh, okay. you would get at birth a card that guarantees you comprehensive health coverage from the day you're born until the day you die. All right. And then how would that include, like, you know, the, immigra the immigrants now in America? It, who? Would, in it would include all residents in the United States. Okay. So, so movie. and then um, what do you think that this movie is going to do for health care? Do you think it's going to have any effect on the public? I'm hoping that it energizes the public enormously because okay. he gives all the examples that we've seen in the past but the public has, doesn't really know about. Okay. And he also travels to other countries that have universal health care to dispel a lot of the myths that they're not getting good health care. All right. And then how, how many of your patients do you say that you come across don't have health insurance? Well, it depends on where you're working. When I've worked in the emergency department, a very significant number of them don't have health insurance. Um, I also work in Mississippi in the summer, and large numbers of patients are very poor without access. Okay. Um, in certain settings where patients have already paid to have their insurance, then it's really not an issue. And it's right. so much easier to provide health care in that setting without having to worry about money or insurance. Okay. And can you actually explain what single-payer health care is? Yeah, single-payer health care system, the easiest comparison is to Medicare. Instead of all the money for health care going into thousands of different private insurance companies and a third of it getting lost, all the money would go into a public fund. Okay. And then doctors, hospitals, uh, physical therapists would all be paid out of that fund, which would then only have about a 3% overhead. Okay. So with all that money you save, you can provide health care to everyone. And then who, what, like what companies wouldn't be making billions of dollars if we were to have single-payer health care? Well, all the um, private insurance companies now, Aetna, WellPoint, uh, Kaiser Permanente, okay. uh, U.S. Healthcare, all, right. all of those companies which make millions of dollars and whose CEOs make hundreds right. of millions of dollars would okay. not be making the same amount of money. All right, so it's a very few people wouldn't be making millions of dollars anymore. Yes, that's right, okay. that's right. So there would be millions benefiting from it and very few that would not be getting uh, filthy rich off it. Oh, okay. And then what do you think stops it, you know, single payer health care from being existing like, you know, for the last 20 years? Why is it still, why aren't, why don't we have it now? Well, I think that's complicated. I think the power of the insurance and pharmaceutical companies has been a big factor in not letting this process go forward. But I think the United States in general um, tends to be more individualistic right. and not to trust government. But oh, okay. government is very important and does a lot of things uh, well. And I believe some things are too big to be handled privately. We let the fire department, the police department, libraries, educational system, defense, homeland security, all of that's handled by the government. Okay. And health care is important enough that right. the funding should be public and handled not through for-profit groups. Great.